What's up everyone, it's Emilio uh, again here, walking to another crappy house. <laughs> I'm on the east side of Detroit right now, you see behind me. Man, I got two of these in a row. Roof, exposed roof, so uh, exposed roof is not good. Rain, I don't know how long it's been like that. Rain, snow, when it melts, it all drips down inside. So I'm assuming uh, the subfloor is rotted, the plaster is all soaking up all the water and things like that. But I like, I like the fact that it's a brick house. It's a brick bungalow, which is a nice little quick rehab, or and it's also a very good rental. I'm gonna do a 360 of the street. So if you see the street, real nice street. There you go. So uh, I'm gonna make this video real short today. This zip code is 48234. Love this neighborhood. Um, I really think this is like one of the hidden zip codes out there, uh, over by Van Dyke and Seven. So uh, I'm gonna flip this camera around and show you walk through. I have not yet been in here matter of fact this this door usually the ply was pretty easy it's just a couple screws but they use like three different kinds of screws they use the star bit the regular phillips and they nailed it shut too so i gotta secure it all back up and i just have a small crevice here to crawl through so the moment I got the door open, I was like, you know, let me just film this thing. So I'm about to start filming and hope you like the video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel. Um, I talk about real estate investing, wholesaling, the Detroit market. If you are starting to get invested in the Detroit market, please, I have a Detroit real estate course. Please purchase the course. It's down in the uh, description below. It helps support the channel. Um, and in the course, I hope it uh, provides some value for you. I talk about different zip codes, building your team, where to invest, things like that. And um, without further ado, let's turn this camera around. Red screen. All right, just squeezing through. Oh. Oh. All right, there you go. Whoa, it's a lot of ducting in here. So it looks like all that plaster I talked about, all the water's been hitting it and it pretty much just fell away. Thankfully, this is brick, so the brick, it's not that bad. Um, However, if you notice up here, all this has to be replaced. See this wood? It's all like just rotted. All of it. I mean, you could sister the joists. I mean, I'm not a contractor, so I'd have to talk to my contractor the best way to go about it, but it is pretty messed, even this flooring here. If I go, there's, there is an upstairs, so when I walk upstairs, um, it's gotta be careful walking around. Um, let's see. Oh man, look at this. Yikes. Oh god. <laughs> Whoa. This is bad, dude. I can't even make it to the basement. The basement's right there. There's no way I'm walking on this. So all this subfloor, all of it is just rotted away. I mean, even where I'm stepping right now is soft. It's soft like a marshmallow. I gotta be careful. I gotta step on the on the joist and just make sure it's holding my weight up because this thing is a shell, dude. Yo, dude, that is, this is the worst I've ever seen. Well, one of the worst, I've seen way worse, actually. Yikes. Oh, boy. Oh, man, look, they got plants growing in here. <laughs> Shit, that's crazy, dude. All, the, all of this. And here's the th crazy thing. You could actually fix this. This is completely repairable. And the reason why you could fix this is um, the values in the neighborhood uh, actually probably, I mean, it depends on what you purchase it for. You know, for the rehab costs, you could still squeeze out a profit. It just depends how much profit it is and are you willing to do this much work to squeeze out the profit. Um, like the neighborhood, I like the house. I don't like the condition of the house. That was messed up. So there's the two lower bedrooms. Man, I don't even know if I want to go upstairs. I know I'm not going to the be uh, to the basement. Oh man, yo. Oh okay, it's not that bad. All the damages right here. And they had a dog in here. There's like dog shit everywhere in here. It's gross. Yeah, see all the damages there. Wow, you got a bird's eye view right here. Oh man, this floor feels like it's leaning forward. Like right here, 
I can feel my body leaning forward. This whole house is screwed. Hole in the ceiling up here. And you see right here, this is, uh, uh, that's the original, uh, sorry, I was stepping in something, I looked down. Cedar Shake, it's Cedar Shake. So this is, I mean, obviously you're gonna need a new roof. I don't know why I'm saying it's gonna be a tear off. You need, this is gonna require everything. Yikes. Well, this is one of the worst, I will say that. Oh man, glad I didn't wear my tennis shoes in here and all this dog poop everywhere. That is disgusting. Gross. Ugh, yuck. All right, that walkthrough is done. Floors are buckled in here too, obviously. The water just soaked into the floors, buckled it. It's a shame. Obviously, that house right there probably won't be a good rehab for us. Uh, we're gonna send in the offer, but even if we made the offer for a dollar, um, I believe the houses in that area are selling for maybe like 100, uh, 85 to 100. So with after all that work, um, that roof, my guess, would be around 20,000 uh, to 25,000 for repair. Again, I'm not a contractor, I have this is my contractor out there, but you saw how everything had to be replaced. It's a complete tear off. Um, obviously, you have to get a quote first. So you know what, I don't wanna jump to conclusions. Um, it, Maybe it'd be a lot less, but you need a whole new roof. I'm assuming all the plumbing electrical have to be redone. Um, you have to get subfloor for the kitchen, for the bathroom, um, all of the 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 joists. Those have got to be probably replaced because I'm assuming those are all rotted as well. So you need to spend a ton of money on wood, uh, windows for the whole house. Um, you know. My best guess, if that thing was a thousand square feet, um, and you're at sixty-five dollars a square foot, sixty-five thousand, but that's like on the low end, I'm assuming. Um, you might have to spend more. Um, but again, like I said, I'm not a contractor. I am going to at least send the pictures to my contractor, get a rough estimate, see maybe he'll walk it, um, and then if the houses are only selling for seventy-five or eighty-five to a hundred, I mean, how much profit are you gonna get? If you're going to put in that like let's say it's 65 and you sell it for 85 after you pay your closing costs you pay your realtor commissions all that kind of stuff um, would it be really worth it I don't know um, I'm gonna send the pictures uh, to my contractor maybe he'll give me a lower quote uh, I'm gonna run the look up the cops <clears throat> maybe the comps are better than I thought all I do know is that right now in this market uh, mortgage rates are going higher so if you're trying to do the burr method um, you are going to be paying like a higher interest so you're gonna your profit margin is gonna be less on um, the if it was a tenant occupied if you're trying to sell it um, because the mortgage rates are going up um, they're trying to make price house prices going down um, you know so I don't know that one might be a little bit too much work that one might be a wholesale deal if he could accept the lower price because there could be somebody out there that um, you know maybe it's our passion project to see a really messed up house in Detroit I don't know we have a couple guys on our list that are like that like they like the messed up houses and they do all the work themselves and they're really proud of it and even though they do it them for themselves uh, they do all the work themselves it takes them like a year to like finish um, just because it's only them but there might be a buyer out there for it I don't know uh, but I just wanted you to see the I wanted you to see the house I wanted you to see the street and um, you know kind of put some more content out there I hope you guys enjoyed this video again if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel if you want to reach out to me and talk to me about investing wholesaling the Detroit market whatever there's a link below click on that reach out to me and I'll talk to you soon